As we look up at the night sky, we can't help but feel a sense of wonder at the vastness of the universe. And while we may feel like we're small and insignificant in comparison, the truth is that we are actually made of the same stuff as the stars. In fact, all matter in the universe is thought to have originated from stars. They are truly the lifeblood of the cosmos. But even stars are not immortal. If a star wanders too close to a black hole, it can be torn apart. The force of the black hole's gravity is so strong that it can literally rip a star to pieces. This may seem like a far-fetched scenario, but it's actually not that uncommon. In fact, it's thought that most black holes are formed when a star collapses in on itself. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that you're looking at the remnants of stars that met their end in a fiery blaze. This is Mira. In this episode, we will know what happens when a star passes too close to a black hole. Why do black holes tear stars apart? What are the consequences of a star being torn apart by a black hole? And what are the odds of a star passing too close to a black hole? Are we near to any? When a star gets too close to a black hole, it gets pulled in by the black hole's gravity. The star then gets torn apart by the black hole's extreme gravitational force. This process is called spaghettification because the star gets stretched out like spaghetti. The star's remains are then pulled into the black hole and disappear. This interaction between a star and a black hole is called a tidal disruption event, and it's thought to be how supermassive black holes grow. If we can detect and characterize these supermassive black holes, we can better understand how the black holes grew, and how that growth affected the galaxies around them. Said study author and Hornchemeyer, an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt. This could help us test theories about how supermassive black holes relate to the evolution of galaxies in the early universe. Black holes are some of the most fascinating objects in the universe. They are so massive and have such a strong gravitational pull that they can actually tear stars apart. So, how does this happen? Well, it all has to do with the way black holes interact with matter. Anything that gets too close to a black hole will be pulled in by its gravity. This includes things like light and particles of matter. As more and more matter is pulled into the black hole, it starts to form a accretion disk around the black hole. This disk is made up of gas and dust that is swirling around the black hole at high speeds. The closer the matter gets to the black hole, the faster it moves. Eventually, the matter in the accretion disk starts to heat up and glow. As the matter in the accretion disk continues to fall towards the black hole, it starts to form clumps. These clumps are pulled towards the black hole by its gravity and start to orbit around it. But the gravitational force of the black hole is so strong that it can actually tear these clumps apart. The clumps are torn into smaller and smaller pieces as they get closer and closer to the black hole. Eventually, they get so close that they are pulled into the black hole and disappear from our universe. So, that's how black holes can tear stars apart. The consequences of a star being torn apart by a black hole depend on the size of the star and the size of the black hole. If the star is small and the black hole is large, then not much will happen. The star will just be pulled into the black hole and will disappear. However, if the star is large and the black hole is small, then the star will be torn apart. This can cause all sorts of problems. For example, if the star is part of a binary system, then the other star will be pulled towards the black hole and the two stars will collide. This can lead to the formation of a new black hole. If the star is torn apart close to a planet, then the planet can be pulled into the black hole as well. This can cause all sorts of havoc, including the destruction of the planet and the death of any life on it. The odds of a star passing too close to a black hole are pretty slim. In our Milky Way galaxy, there are an estimated 100 million black holes. But, there are also an estimated 100 billion stars. 
So, the odds of any one star passing too close to a black hole are about one in a million. There are two types of black holes, stellar and supermassive. Stellar black holes are the remains of a star that has collapsed in on itself. They are about the size of our sun and have a mass of about 10 times. Supermassive black holes are much larger, with a mass of millions or even billions of times that of our sun. The odds of a star passing too close to a supermassive black hole are even smaller than the odds of a star passing too close to a stellar black hole. This is because there are far fewer supermassive black holes than stellar black holes. In our Milky Way galaxy, there are an estimated 100 million stellar black holes, but there are only about 10 million supermassive black holes. So, the odds of any one star passing too close to a supermassive black hole are about 1 in 10 million. There are two ways a star can get too close to a black hole. The first is if the star wanders too close to the black hole while it is orbiting the center of the galaxy. The second is if the star is part of a binary system and its companion star wanders too close to the black hole. The odds of a star wandering too close to a black hole while it is orbiting the center of the galaxy are pretty low. This is because the vast majority of stars in our galaxy orbit the center of the galaxy at a safe distance. Only a small fraction of stars orbit the center of the galaxy close enough to be at risk of getting too close to a black hole. The odds of a star being part of a binary system and its companion star wandering too close to the black hole are even lower. This is because binary systems are relatively rare. In our galaxy, there are an estimated 100 billion stars, but only about 1% of those are in binary systems. So, the odds of any one star being part of a binary system and its companion star wandering too close to the black hole are about 1 in 10 billion. While spectacular as the lights we could witness in this phenomena, we wouldn't want it happening to our beloved sun. Good thing this is unlikely. As the closest black hole is still more than 1000 light years away. And that is still far enough to know that we are safe. At the moment, Keep wondering.